Well, uh, he talks a lot, but what specifically is the question? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to this new episode of E-Junkies. So today we are chatting with a few cast members of the new Hollywood movie, Everything Everywhere All At Once. Everything Everywhere All At Once is a science fiction action comedy movie starring Michelle Yeoh as a Chinese immigrant in the US who runs a laundromat. So she's trying to complete filing her taxes, but then one day, she's suddenly drawn into this multiverse where the fate of every universe is in her hands. So she needs different versions of herself, including one who has hot dogs for fingers. The movie also stars Ki Hui Huan as her husband, Stephanie Shu as her daughter, and James Hong as her father. So we met Ki, Stephanie, and James for an interview, and here's what went down. Hi, my name is Katie. I'm from Asia One in Singapore. Hello, hello, Lei Hao, Lei Hao. Hello, Lei Hao. Okay, hello. I'm gonna start first. Okay, so hello. if there was a multiverse, what would the best version of yourself be like? The rock universe, 100 percent. That is that is my supreme self. Uh, for me, I mean, I, I I think there's a lot to be said about the present universe uh, because I just haven't you know uh, haven't done this in a while. So you know, you told me a few years ago that I would be doing a movie with these crazy talents. You know, I would say you're crazy, but here I am now. So I I like where things are going in the present universe, and I wouldn't change a thing. I, I like it where I am, you know, I got everything, you know, really, this universe is quite, quite good, quite good. Okay, yeah. so everyone is content and I want to be a rock. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. Well, there's, 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 there's a lot of great things in the rock universe, so. That's the young people for you, always a rebel. <laughs> Um, okay, so I read that, Ki, you introduced this, uh, this very Chinese tradition of having a suckling pig for the start of production and also giving out red packets for uh, any actor who has done a death scene. So how did the rest of the cast and crew take to this? Oh, they, they loved it. They loved it. They've never done it before. And I remember when we suggested it to the Daniels and our producer, Jonathan Wong, they immediately loved the idea. It was actually the, uh, for Chinese New Year and it was our first day of shooting. And when we did the ceremony, we had the entire cast and crew together. And everybody was so happy and it just felt like a big, you know, celebration at the beginning of the production. Uh, and we all burned incense, we had the roasted pigs. Uh, we were, because it's Chinese New Year, we were giving out red envelopes. Uh, it was just a fun, you know, fun ceremony for all of us to have. And for all of us, most importantly, to bond before we begin production. Uh, and this is, of course, this is a tradition that it's been done many times in Asia. So to introduce that here, uh, it's great. Uh, Honestly, I think that the ceremony really protected our film. One of the traditions is that the leading cast and the directors, they all hold on to the knife at the same time and they cut the pig from head to tail in one fell swoop. And it's supposed to be a good sign of good luck and also protection. And man, like our movie was so, has been so protected by the divine forces. Our intended wrap day from the beginning was the day that Hollywood shut down because of the pandemic. And now we have the supreme gift to get to share this movie now in movie theaters where people can come see it. And I honestly, I think about that ceremony all the time because I feel like we are, we've been so graced with luck yeah. and good fortune. We, we've been we've been blessed uh, from you know from the beginning, and uh, and we're really thrilled to let the world see our movie today. Uh, when when you know uh, people are able to go back into a movie theater, that is something that I don't take for granted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, he talks a lot, but what specifically is the question? <laughs> She was what do you think asking about, about the, the ceremony the, yeah. that we did the first day. Yeah. What do you think of it? Did you yeah. like it? Oh, what do I think of it? Well, I, I think the, the pig was too cold by the time I got to it, you know. <laughs> and, and therefore, the skin wasn't uh, crispy enough. You know how you have got to have roast pig with crispy skin. Otherwise, uh, the camaraderie in the group was great. And I think it was a great experience for the crew to see what the Chinese at New Year looks like, you know. I, I don't know if we uh, cut the ribbon, but that's another uh, tradition in Hong Kong. You know, you cut the ribbon on the set before you enter the first shot. However, um, it, it was something different, uh, something that I've never experienced in my 70 years uh, uh, in show business. Uh, so to introduce that to the uh, so-called 
American uh, crew and so forth. Uh, I think it just ties it together. And on top of that, the, the directors, um, uh, they play some kind of a game before we start each day. Uh, do you remember that? Yeah, we yeah. would do warm-ups and things like that. Yeah. yeah. And then also every Friday, uh, depending on what universe we were shooting at, we would have theme. Uh, oh, yeah, for example, dress up days, yeah. Yeah, dress up day. For example, when we were shooting the hot dog universe, everybody was required to dress either in red or yellow. Uh, for the movie star universe, everybody was required to dress business like. So men were in suits and then you know, it, it was just a lot it was just a lot of fun. I mean that's like working with the Daniels. Uh, that's what's so great about it. It's even though it was a really tight schedule and we had a ton of stuff to shoot every day, but we all did it with a lot of you know, joy, and it was it was just a you know it was just a happy experience all around. Well, I'm I'm glad uh, you know these young people love the game. I thought it was kind of silly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I don't have any more time to to ask you questions. I'm so sorry, but okay. all the best. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I wish I had more time with them because uh, they sounded like really fun and cool people, and then they were like getting warmed up into telling us what went down. You know behind the scenes and in their parties. For those of you who love movies from the 1980s, uh, you will recognize Key because he was a child actor who played short round in a few Indiana Jones movies and he was also Data in The Goonies. So this is his first Hollywood movie in many years. So the movie is a very cookie and fun show and then it's now showing in theaters. So go and catch everything everywhere all at once. If you like our content, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you the next time. Bye!